what's up travelers in this video we're in Bangkok Thailand and we're out looking up for a night of street food so let's see what we can find unfortunately my microphone had to compete with the sound of the heavy traffic here in Bangkok and it made the audio in this video really sound strange all right so here is the first place of the night that we have found not sure what they're serving here but uh let's find out Well, it looks like there's something there it was on foodtravel.tv well that place didn't really have anything that piqued my interest for tonight so off to the next spot So the first thing that I ended up getting is uh, something that I've never had before. Something pretty unique. It is uh, jellyfish. Yeah, so I, I got uh, some skewered jellyfish. Well, it's not skewered anymore. <laughs> I'll show you what that looks like. So this is sweet and sour jellyfish and sweet and sour squid together here. Um, not sure what to expect from this jellyfish. I've got a good feeling about the squid. But uh, yeah, here's a piece of that jellyfish. I don't know, it looks kind of crazy. I've never had it before. Well, it's certainly chewy. <laughs> um, you know, the sweet and sour sauce, it's, it's, it's a nice sweet and sour sauce, but then it ends up kicking your ass because of the chilies, because, you know, Thailand has an obsession with those. All right, here's a piece of that squid. Oh yeah, that is good. You know, usually if uh, squid is overcooked, it becomes super, super chewy. A lot like that jellyfish. But uh, this is cooked to absolute perfection. And uh, it's got a, just a nice mouthfeel to it. It's not chewy at all. Really almost like biting into a piece of chicken thigh. Which, speaking of which, we got one of those too. <laughs> the squid and the jellyfish skewers, they were each 20 baht each. So about 70 cents, something like that. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of that jellyfish at all. That's good though. That squid is a showstopper. And then, after that, we got this chicken thigh. I mean, 
That just looks amazing, doesn't it? Oh. Well, that's the best thing we've had here. That is a fantastic. <laughs> the, the cook was happy to hear it. <laughs> it was so tender and juicy and sweet and savory. It is just, yeah, that is, that's the good stuff right there. I'm at there's this really cool artwork that I'm looking at uh, it's done by one of the Thailand's most famous street artists and it is absolutely awesome it's it's pretty cool check it out all right so the chicken thigh was 50 baht so I got all of that for 90 baht it's one hell of a deal I <laughs> This place is found outside of Mercury Ibis, Bangkok, Siam. So, if you want to come check this place out, grab some of this. That's where it is. I did, I'll see if I can put a destination here in the description, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. <laughs> Let's see if we can find something else that's pretty cool. So, you see a lot of these uh, street fruit vendors all over the place in Southeast Asia and uh, this one caught my eye because well they got these little tiny pineapples here and uh, yeah I figured we need to get those and then we can get one of these little tiny coconuts as well So we got this uh, little tiny coconut. It's ice cold. Oh. Nothing in the world better than a fresh, young Thai coconut. Mm. That is amazing. But let's check out these, uh, these pineapples here. I mean, look at these little tiny things. There's, there's my thumb for perspective. <laughs> now let's open them up and try some of this out. They gave us this, uh, this skewer. So let's just stab one of these and pull it up. Oh my God. That is the sweetest pineapple I've had in my entire life. Mm. Oh my God. Not only is it super sweet and delicious, but it's crunchy. It's not ready, so it doesn't get stuck in your teeth. Oh man. You see these little tiny pineapples? I 100% recommend picking them up because they are amazing. This bag of nine of them cost 60 baht and the coconut cost 25 baht. What an amazing deal. I mean, these things are fantastic. Mm. I don't know if you can hear the crunch on this or not, but oh, 
This is so, so good. Let's maybe go find something else to, to drink and then we'll probably end up calling it a video. Well, found us a drink. We got a green apple soda at this little uh, Korean street food place here. Uh, yeah, let's give it a taste. Oh man, that is refreshing. Mm. And it tastes just like biting into a Granny Smith apple. It is absolutely phenomenal. Well, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you're into it. And as always, eat great food.